Good morning fellas wherever you are and welcome again to one of my watch reviews. Uh, today I want to show you one of my recently acquired uh, watches. I received it in a trade and um, you're looking at a nice tin can with the Junkers brand on it. Uh, Junkers being a uh, German um, aircraft manufacturer that uh, deserves quite a little bit of respect. Uh, in the previous century, in the 20s and 30s, they uh, they were actually one of the biggest uh, aircraft manufacturers and um, coming from that history they also manufactured watches and of course you can imagine uh, the style they uh, used was the pilot style now I just opened the can and uh, inside the can is also the manual but if you are a little bit into pilot watches but actually don't like them too big this could be one of your choice because the uh, watch measures about a 40 millimeters in diameter and uh, as you can see it's an automatic watch I will flip it over so you can have a look at the uh, very nice Swiss ETA uh, 2824 movement which uh, winds very smoothly with the uh, firm crown that's on the 3 o'clock position uh, as you can see it's um, very nice always that there is an exhibition back so you can Look at the movement and the rotor spinning around inside. Works very well this one. You also can see that this watch has a 100% uh, brushed finish. Giving the watch a little bit of a, a tool shine. The special thing about this watch is the, uh, the dial work. It actually originated from the, uh, the material, the steel that the aircrafts were made of. And if you remember some old pictures of old airplanes you might you might recognize this uh, pattern that we see in the dial they call it corrugated steel the brand name is there the brand symbol is there and uh, this one is equipped with a continuous running second hand that runs very smoothly along the dial uh, you see all the numerals are there nicely applied and there's a, a date window at three o'clock where it also states that uh, movement is a 25 joules movement. The crown is firm, easy grips and uh, it uh, winds very smoothly. And the crystal on this one is a sapphire, making it uh, one of the hardest uh, materials available, except uh, diamond of course. As I said, this watch measures about a 40 millimeters in uh, diameter and uh, about, I believe, 11 or 12 millimeters high. So you can get a, a very stylish pilot watch, but not one of those uh, awesome big watches that you see very often. The loom is not uh, on the dial. The only loom available on, the, on this watch is on the hands, which uh, glow uh, very nicely during the night. One final look at the back side of this watch with a very nice movement. It's an example of German craftsmanship, the Junkers, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this review of my uh, Junkers watch and uh, well we meet again on the forum someday. Thanks again guys and uh, thanks for watching.